How old are you? Three. How old? Three. You're three years old? Really? Do you like going to school? Yes. Forty dollars. Forty dollars for that dog? Yeah. So I owe you $43? Yeah. Okay, just stick it on my card. You can you get me? Emerson was born October 19th of 2010, and she failed her newborn screen in the hospital. We were just told pretty much that everything was fine, probably just some fluid. After a few months to go and get a checkup. A few months later then, we went to um, another hearing test here in Lincoln. Um, actually, I went by myself. Didn't really, we had no concern, just, you know, it wasn't gonna be a big deal. An audiologist there put her in a sound booth and started to bang a drum in back of her, and she wasn't responding, and so then I knew that something was not quite right. Our pediatrician was great. She was very proactive and just said, we're gonna go to Boys Town. Uh, they're the best, and we know they'll take care of you. And that's when we were told that she had a profound hearing loss, I meaning she was totally deaf. And, um, you know, of course, we were devastated. We got down the hallway. I remember we sat down <laughs> just, just a little bit down the hall and cried and just stared at the wall, not knowing what to do. There was just a lot going through our head. How oh, she's never going to be able to hear our voice. She's never going to hear us say, I love you. She's never going to be able to hear music and, you know, all of those things. That was the hardest thing I probably went through in my life, really. It's, it was extremely difficult to hear. I remember just, you, you feel helpless, but you want to fix it. So. I'm listening to the information we're getting, thinking, hold yourself together. You, you can't break down now. You need to hear what you're being told so that you can know what to do. And that's been the great thing about Boys Town is they give you everything that's, that's out there as far as what your, your choices and options are. They, uh, they're not biased one way or another. Um, you know, honestly, even if we try to push them, which she'll really want to know what is the best answer and truthfully it's what's going to work best for your family, what's for your situation. We really knew nothing about cochlear implants. I mean I remember sitting in my parents house and googling a co what a cochlear implant was because I had never heard of it. I had never met anyone with a cochlear implant so it was also new to us. Really reading about them um, you know and, and finding out as much as we could and eventually deciding this is something that we want to do. It's the best decision for our family, uh, you know, for just her being able to have what we hope would be the, the best interaction with her, her friends and her immediate family. I love my CI. Emerson's doing fantastic. She amazes us. I mean, really, there's not a day goes by where she's not doing something that just astonishes me. She uh, can carry a conversation with you. She can joke. She can <laughs> make you laugh. She, she's a regular goofball. Knock, knock. Who's there? Emerson. Emerson who? Nice shoes you got on. <laughs> Emerson, nice shoes you got on. Goofball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. There's nothing holding her back with her cochlear implant. She does everything that her her seven-year-old sister does. She plays with her. She's, you know, on the jungle gym with her, hanging upside down. She's singing to Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, you know, just, just like her older sister. My favorite movie is Frozen. She sings Let It Go um, a lot. Cameron has been just so mature through this whole process. She really sticks up for her little sister. For the first um, few years, she would sit at that table through almost every single speech therapy session we had with Emerson. And all of her teacher, Emerson's teachers, talked about how great of a teacher Cameron was. She's always thinking about her. To be able to come home and, and have two girls that are, you know, ready to play, ready to, to have fun, and, and you can walk in and they say, hi, Daddy. Glad you're home, give me a hug. It's the best part of my day, I, you know, for me really, is, is getting to, to come home and, and see them. And of course, my wife. What are these? Scissors. Scissors! 
she goes continues to go to speech therapy um, four to five times a week. She sees different speech therapists. That's very important to us. She's in such a critical window right now with her speech and language, and you know we know we need to get her, you know, everything she needs right now so she can thrive in school and and do great. Bathtub. We go to Boys Town once every three months unless there's problems. We go up there for a mapping and Emerson knows the drill. She has it down and we look forward to the trip. We have a good time. Boys Town has a huge place in our hearts. When we went in for our initial ABR, I remember seeing the Lead Center logo on the side of the building. I just remember thinking how we hope to never see that again. Now obviously we see that sign often and we smile ear to ear just knowing the awesome people that are inside of that building and that have given us so much support. You want to see my baby? Oh yeah, what's your baby's name? I would have never thought we would be sitting here three years ago just talking about how awesome she's doing and how much she's thriving and just totally speech of a normal three-year-old. We're just so blessed.